Hi guys! Hi, this is Benji again, and welcome to our second episode of The Voice of Experience. Experience. Yes, and um, maganda naman ang ating topic for today. And i-welcome muna natin ang ating co-host, ang ating magandang asawa na si Mrs. Jelly Palaruan. Hello guys! Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> yes. So, thank you for following us on our podcast. Also, we're just starting this podcast for for our for sharing the knowledge for you and my experience namin, uh, mga insights namin regarding on certain topics. And soon enough we will have a uh, guest on our podcast. So, Pray lang yun, di ba? Uh, we have to have those guests, our source speakers, to share their insight on a certain topic, di ba? So, ang ating topic for today, um, ating mahal, kung asawa. Yes, what are the five benefits of working as a call center agent? Yeah, five benefits. So, um, um, we will... Uh, start on the conversation na uh, kami dalawa kasi uh, we meet in the call center industry before we are that uh, husband and wife uh, nag meet kami more than 10 years ago <laughs> 10 years ago more than 10 years ago um, yung nagbuboom pa yung call, call center industry but still the industry is still booming and still mm-hmm. still surviving even sa COVID andun yung industry na yun, nakatulong sa mga Filipino mostly, and especially me on um, talk, talking uh, in the call center. Um, probably we will do in English. Uh, I think talk like a call center. Uh, all money if we're kind of a lingo or quite na malambot ang aming English or sabi ko konyo type sa pag English. So we will start on any advantage because we talk about call centers and mostly. May mga misconceptions call centers, may mga positive din or on working on the industry, di ba? Ikaw yung nag-work ka, pasok ka agad, di ba, sa call center, di ba? Galing kasi, ano ba yung course mo? Yes, <laughs> teacher ba yun? AB English. Uh, AB English. So, AB yeah, English. so my very first job was as a call center agent. Yeah, so yeah. from Pampanga, numuhas ako ng Manila to work. As a call center agent, ayan. So, I love being a call center agent kasi dyan ako nagsimula. And dyan din kami nag-meet, ayan. Yeah. Ni Benji. Dyan nag-start ang aming love story. <laughs> <laughs> But we will not talk about the, our uh, your love mm. story. Yung experience lang namin as a call center agent, ano yung naging benefits and advantages ng pagiging isang call center agent because we really value ako personally i value my skills na mga natutunan ko knowledge and skills na natutunan ko sa call center yan yes kasi uh we started i started call center when i was 27 or 26 years old hard time pa ako pumasok sa call center because i'm not good in english talaga i'm not good as uh If you imagine that I'll do English, when I talk English to you here right now, it's not the English that I used to be on a, when I'm starting, when I started uh, applying to call center. Do you know the Baroque English? Uh, you, me, we get together. You mean like the Robin Padilla English in certain movies. Na mm-hmm. It's not quite fluent enough. It's not quite uh, prompt enough that I cannot uh, connect the words at the time. So I have to think more like a borombado <laughs> na English. Yan. But well, certainly because of my perseverance to learn the language, y- yung key. you have to learn the language. You have to train it. You have to Master it. Kung ba hindi naman master, uh, I mean, you have to do it every day. You have to talk every day. Uh, you have to talk like why we, uh, the diction, the pronunciation. Uh, I watch movies. I go, that pa nga yung mga panahon yan, uh, where I start this, yung sa Tesla. Kasi yung Tesla, 
they're giving you free English uh, lessons, mm-hmm. grammar and uh, pronunciation. Mm-hmm. So, kinukuha ko yun. Oh, kasi booming talaga yung call center at that time. Booming yun, yeah. That's year 2000. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 2005 okay. onwards. Kaso nag-start yung 2000 yung booming yung call center. And mm-hmm. helps a lot. So, to build my uh, to build my self-confidence ba. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so one of the benefits niyo na karon on self confidence. Uh, I learned to talk to English on a Amer- American accent. Kasi they have different accent. Uh, I, I le- we learn uh, to talk in a confident way. We talk on the Americans in the phone from in, on the front face to face when I do have a foreigner talking in my real estate because uh you know foundation that's the foundation i learned on uh in the call center uh when i do the call center i become more fluent on talking to uh, talking in the english language and writing english language but kasi mas magaling ka pa rin sa writing and students you are the ab ab english so pinapacheck ko pa rin sa yung ano yung mm-hmm. aking sentence constructions so, mm-hmm. ikaw, dear. Go. Kapasok ka agad, di ba? Kasi nga, magaling ka eh. Yun, uh, yun nga, connected din siya sa course ko. It's a communication. So, English communication. So, yeah, that's the reason why I took the course. Because at that time, iniisip ko na magiging okay yung uh, maging uh, marunong ka sa English language and at the same time marunong ka rin makipag-usap in English na kumbaga internationally you can communicate so ang ating first benefit for the um for being a call center agent is number 1 um high earning potential and incentives oh magkano ba sweldo mo nung mag-start ka sa call center nag-start pa nang mga around 12 12? Alam ko, 14 yung akin. Mga 12, ganun. Tapos, at the time, 12, 14,000 is mataas na yun at the time in year 2. Uh, actually, yeah. And actually, Tapos, nung nag-resign na ako, naging around 25, 26,000. <laughs> ako, 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 hanggang 18,000. But, at that time, yung price na yun, uh, without the inflation na yun, mata, mata siya. You can save a lot kung wala ka masyadong gimmick. Kasi at the time, sa call center, gabi ka, di ba? So, wala na akong energy mga ipag-inuman or mga ipag-gimmick um, at the time. So, I, I'm a saver. Sinisave ko. So, ambisyo na yung kumain. Eh. Kumain sa mga fast food, kumain sa mga restaurant. Hmm. Yan, yun lang yung bishop. Or bilingin gusto ko. Mm-mm. So, talaga yung sa sweldo, yun yung talagang number one na advantage and benefit ng pagiging isang call center agent. Ayan. Kasi aside sa salary, marami pang iba't ibang mga incentives. Like if na-complete mo yung attendance mo, di ka nag may mga bribe subsidy, merong uh, travel allowance, clothing allowance, so marami siya. I, I, I don't know kung meron pang ganyan. At the time, meron. Uh, meron pa rin naman. Nakikita ko sa mga... Diba, no? Diba? But mm. one thing is the benefits talaga you talk to uh, when you learn to go to uh, if you master call center, uh, hindi ko matatakot na mawala ka sa industry. Pwede mm. ka bumalik. Sa so you know the language. Mm. So, ando na yung skills. So, aside from that, yun nga, sa ma- malaking sweldo, meron pang HMO na, yun nga, for your health. And then, meron ding mga call center companies na nag-offer ng um, mental health checkup. Tapos, meron pang night differential pay. Pag graveyard ang yung shift. Tapos meron pang team incentives, attendance incentives, so marami. So, dagdag pa siya sa sweldo mo. So, that's the first thing na talagang advantage. And yun nga, sabi nga ni Benji, kung hindi ka ma, to, ma, maluho 
makakapag-ipon ka. True enough, kasi nakapag-ipon ako ngayon. Kaya mm-hmm. yung salary niya mataas. Tapos meron ka pang promotion. And mm-hmm. secondly, you have an advantage if you, yung talagang hilig mo, you can learn a different language. Uh, like Spanish, Japanese, mas mataas yung sweldo eh. Mm-hmm. Mapal- yung ibang yeah. part ng call center sites sa English, pwede Spanish or Japanese. Okay, so sa number two naman, you have um, number two benefits, may mga opportunities for career growth. Yeah, yeah, yung sinabi And, ko. Uh, promotion. Uh, yung promotion or you can shift to another language. You have to start mm. it. Ngayon kasi it's easy na we. Eh. Kasi nga, online na lahat. Mm-mm. You can study online. Even test the given free... Uh, language uh, language lessons. Mm-hmm. If I check on test, uh, meron nga silang Japanese. Eh. Wala lang mm-hmm. silang Spanish. Mm-hmm. Ayun. So, pag uh, call center agent ka, pwede kang ma-promote as a QA, quality specialist, which is ganun yung naging promotion ng mga friends ko. So, ako, di na ako naghangad ng higher ano basta okay na ako sa ano ako, <laughs> sa taking ano, calls nang hinaya ako hindi ko na realize at the time kaya ako anis din na hinaya ako kasi hindi ko na realize at the time yung advantage na yun na gusto kong mag-aral ng other languages kasi uh, hindi ko na realize na excited na ako maghanap ng negosyo kaso hmm. na realize ko at, at the time So, I, I learned Japanese or I learned uh, Hokkien or Chinese. It's a big advantage when it comes to larangan ng sales. Mm-hmm. So, you have to talk to ano, uh, foreigners about investment, mm-hmm. about real estate. Um, one thing, but if you want to learn now, there are a lot of ways. There are a ways. Daming ways mm-hmm. ngayon uh, to set technology. Zoom are here mm-hmm. online. Dati, you have to go to the YouTube to, uh, to learn the Spanish eh. or foundation. Mm-hmm. Sa mga mahal ng fee ngayon, meron silang ano, modules. Dile, plus mm-hmm. YouTube. If you want to learn YouTube, YouTube is the way to learn the language. Does you have to practice mm-hmm. it, record it yourself. Mama master me yung ano eh. Siyempre, iba yung sentence-sentence construction. Kasi may certification sila pagdating doon. So, maraming mm-hmm. ngayon nag ano yung tutor. Maraming, may... kumbaga, maraming mag-open na channel and opportunities. So, aside from the learning other languages, pwede ka rin ma-promote as team leader. Yung leadership, kung talagang, ano ka, nakafocus ka sa leadership role. Oh. Talagang innate sa'yo na gusto mong mag-lead, mag-guide ng mga tao. Yun, pwede sa yun, team leader, and then QA specialist, quality, yung nakikinig sa mga calls, or pwede ka ring OM, operations manager. Oh, so, ikaw yung na- nagmamanage ng mga team leader. So, yan yung iba't ibang way to be promoted. May nakalimutan ka pa yung, work, uh, yung workflow specialist, yung mag-schedule ng mga po, uh, mga... Hmm. plus yung service uh, yung service hmm. level sila yun hmm. and check the service level marami maraming ano maraming ano maraming maganda din sa industry uh, siyempre yung mga free mga free mga free drinks <laughs> gusto ko yun hmm. alam ko mga may chocolate dati adik ko yun oh, free milo free iced tea yun yung maganda so yun and then yung number three na benefit yun nga exposure to international clients yun. yan um yung tinabi ko sa yon dahil nga because we learn a lot of uh, talking to English right now uh, we talk we have companies to talk to foreigners mm. yeah uh, the misconception is maarte ka konyo ka um, um Uh, social ka, English na. It's not, uh, for me, it's not yung mati ka. Actually, ang maganda, ang sa akin kasi, nilulugar ko. Kung sa work, sige English tayo. But 
sa labas, sige, pwede tayo magtagalog. But it depends sa taong kausap ko. Mm. Yeah. Yun, tapos, yun nga, um, exposure to international clients. So, sa call center dito sa Philippines, um, magkakaroon ka rin ng idea about sa international cultures, ng mga clients mo, alamin mo rin ano yung meron sa kanila, yung weather nila, yung... para magkaroon kayo ng something na pag-usapan. Yan. Tsaka ang maganda sa mga Americans naman, they're not on the grammar eh. As long as you can communicate, talk to them, and naintindihan naman yung sinasabi mo, then it's okay. Tayo lang naman mga Pinoyong conscious talaga eh. Sila, as long as they can communicate, they can understand, it's okay. Basta just be confident and yun nga, use the English language in communicating. And yun. secondly, uh, you learn how to speak and how you can... Uh, know their um, culture, uh, uh-uh. respect yung ethics nila, uh-uh. yung you have to respect them, and if, uh, you have to what's the do's and don'ts na what to say to to a client or a foreigner. Oh, to a Canadian, American, to a so, Canadian, Austra- Australian, so magkakaiba yan eh. Yan. Oh, iba-ibang culture. Kung UK, iba rin yung English nila sa UK yun. Yan. Yun yung maganda dun eh. You build your confidence, you build your uh, English language skill to guys. It's not mm. uh, yan. Yun yung problema kasi ng English concept. Right? Nahihirapan naman kayo uh, to learn the You just learn it. Yeah. It's a process guys eh. When I started uh, doing the uh, learning the, the languages, it's a process. It cannot be uh, taught by you uh, you have to do it every day practice daily practice kasi uh, makipag-usap ka in english kaya magbasa ka ng libro na english english yung then you invest pinabasa on, you have to invest movies. on uh, you have to invest on english uh, english lessons eh, actually hindi ko na alam kung meron pa ang test ano kung meron pa rin din na hmm. meron pa rin yan meron pa ba uh, Kasi maraming kong mag-graduates din eh. So, oh, okay. maraming magbe-benefit. So, yun. Exposure to international clients. How to talk to them. Um, paano yung way na makipag-communicate sa kanila. Kasi iba-ibang personality yan eh. American, Canadian, Australian, UK. So, magkakaiba lahat yan. So, ma- maintindihan nyo yan. Mas ma-expose kayo to different kinds of international clients. Yeah, and your number, bar, your number four is that mm-hmm. you can be, but since you're talking your new skills, na sabi ko na tukuni na a little bit. Uh, this can be valuable experience to personal and professional growth. Mm-hmm. With soft skills mo yung uh, ano yung sample na soft skills? Uh, yung soft skills yung um yung teamwork. Yan. Yan. Teamwork, empathy, ano pa? Teamwork, uh, productivity, problem-solving mo, accountability, productivity, mm. flexibility. Oh, uh, time management. Pinaka, ano, importante. Flexibility kasi sa call center, pa, paiba-iba ng schedule eh. So, that flexible ka. So, so yan, social skills, pa, yung, ano pa? You can, you can work on uh, two two-way job yun, typing, uh, ang tawag doon, yung term na yun, yung nagtatake habang yung sasalita. Multitasking. Yes, multitasking. Oh, hard, hard skills yun. Hard skills yun. Sa soft skills muna tayo, so adaptability, flexibility, time management, social skills, paano ka makibagay sa mga ka-teammates mo, teamwork, uh, work ethic, customer patience. Service. Yeah. Lalo sa customer service, yung patience, kahit na irate na yung client, smile ka pa rin. Ganyan. So, yan yung soft skills. Yung hard skills, ano yung mga sample? Ay, yung computer skill, you have to be technically in know how. Um, hmm. For me, I'm a technical support. So, technical hmm. support is uh, teaching the client how to use their certain software or hardware. Hmm. Instructions, guides, ganyan. Yeah. Bibigyan mo sila ng step-by-step procedure. Ano pa yung sample ng hard skills? Well, uh, data entry, data mm. privacy, uh, selling, yeah. um, marketing, ups- upselling, yan, yeah. upselling mm-hmm. or promos, or yan, yung mga, yung mga, ang tawag doon, pag-searing, yung ano, meron kang warranty, or sell the mm-hmm. 
Mag extension, mga ganun. Um, yan. Technical skills, ayan. Analytical skills, kailangan mo yan sa technical eh. Nasin na kung mga, you have to connect uh, the internet. Tapos ako naman, nung nasa customer service ako, nag-ano rin kami, upsell. Pwede, gusto, gusto mo ba tong item na to? Ito yung promo namin. So, na tututo ka sa selling, marketing, iba-iba. Maraming skills ang mabibuild, hard skills na talagang matututunan mo. Data entry, yan, malagay yan. Especially kung gusto mo maging freelancer. Oh. It's a very good stepping stone. Tama. Uh, speaking of stepping stone, uh, nakakatulong din kasi we're doing freelancing. Tama sinabi mo yan. Because of, uh, we know how to talk to uh, clients. We're confident mm-hmm. to talk about it. Yun yan. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung ating... Um, Hard and soft skills yeah. na benefits. Mm-hmm. And yung last? Yung supportive work environment. So, also mm-hmm. in the Philippines kasi uh, may supportive work environment. May coaching ka. Mm-hmm. Uh, may tutulong sa'yo sa calls mo. Meron may ma-record ng calls mo. Ang maganda lang kasi may QA. Matututo ka eh. Mm-hmm. On, on a certain level. On a call center. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga, ano eh, uh, maganda pa rin if you work from the call center. Sabi daw, pangit daw din kasi nga mm-hmm. because of the schedule. Nakakabobo, boring, ganun. Uh, but Pero it hindi. Depende pa rin sa attitude mo. Oo, oh, depende pa rin sa tao kung ano yung tingin niya doon sa trabaho. Ako, personally, talagang I value yung mga skills and knowledge na nakuha ko sa ano. Yung mga soft and hard skills na nakuha ko sa call center. Yan. So, yun nga, supportive work environment. Meron kang um, teammates tutulong sa'yo. May team building. May employee engagement activities. Tapos, may minsan may health and wellness benefits pa yan. Tapos, yun nga, sabi ni Benji, may TL ka na mag-guide sa'yo. May quality na magsasabi sa'yo ano yung mga kailangan pang improve. So, it's a very good support work environment. Ayan. So, benefit din yan. Kung baga, doon mo matutunan yun. Talagang teamwork yeah. na nasa call center. Tulungan. Yan. Yeah, yun yung maganda. Kung, you know, basta ma- maroon ka makisama. Maroon ka mm-hmm. makisama. Maroon ka you know, makisama. And to... I must say na ako personally, the best people na nakilala ko are from the call center world. Yung mga naging friends ko, yung mga nakilala ko, okay sila. Mabait sila, magaling, yun, yun lang masabi ko. Yun yung isa sa mga nilulok forward ko coming into work. Kasi ngay, I'll, I'll be with people na magagaling, na mababait. Yan. Talagang team. Tulungan talaga sa team namin at my time. Nung call center agent pa ako. Yun. Ay, Kaya hindi ako bored. <laughs> well, for me, ang... Um... Inspired ako. For me, isa pang advantage is, is, is the fastest to recruit. Yung recruitment process na within 24 hours. So, wala pa 24 hours. Basta mapasa pala yung mga tests. Mm. Meron na ngayon, ano? Parang one day, ano lang? Less one than, day application. Uh, less than one day nga eh. Mm. So, so gano'n nakabilis ngayon. Contract sign. Yeah. We really recommend itong mga five benefits na na-discuss namin with this, we really recommend na maganda rin talagang um, starting point ang pagiging call center agent. Marami ka talaga matutunan. So, um, mm. Kung nahihirapan kayo mag, uh, mag-speak ng English language, um, yun lang kasi yung hindrance yung nahihirapan mag-speak ng English language. Mm. Ano eh, you have, to, you have to do, you have to practice a lot. Oh, practice lang, practice daily. Uh, you have to invest on on seminars, then you have mm. to record yourself. Oh, tsaka pa nagbabasa ka ng libro, yun, pwede mong record yung yung boses mo, paano mo ba siya binabasa, tama ba yung pagkabasa, tapos manood ka rin na English movies. Yeah, secondly, you have to study the, the, the questions na binibigay sa'yo. Hmm, yung sa interview, especially sa interview, yung mga frequently asked questions. At saka mabilis kayo mag-type. ulit lang naman yun eh. Oh, kaya lang mabilis kayo mag-type. Ma-master mo. You work per minute. Yeah. Ako, pindot system lang ako. Pero ano ako <laughs> ah, um, 45 words per minute, Nax. Oh. Minsan na-hit ko 50. 
Pindot system lang. Si Yung matas kaya at is around 40 WPM per mm. minute. Uh, yeah. So, yun. So, ngayon, yung mga natunod ko sa call center, nagamit ko sa sales, sa business. So, marami. Nagamit ko talaga siya, yung mga natutunan ko. And also now, na nasa freelancing na ako, nagamit ko pa rin siya. So, nasa resume ko yung pagiging call center agent ko because I was able to talk to international clients and data entry. Ano pa? Um, uh, yun nga, yung experience mo, actually, yun lang yung mahalaga dun eh. If you have an experience working with a um, international client. Ayun. Yan. One thing na, ano, uh, don't be shy uh, to tell that you start your own call center. Sabi na nga nila, mahirap. Be proud. Be proud. Kasi, trabaho pa rin. Tsaka pinaghirapan. Tsaka Ako pinaghirapan, pinaghirapan mo rin. Oh, marami rin, honestly, marami na nag-resign sa call center. Kasi, mm. we're done for that or we have 5 million for your pasture. Nagharap pa rin sila ng agent. So, mm. I, I encourage you to Try the industry. It helps mm. me a lot. Yeah, you mean, yeah. a lot to build who I am, what I am today. Yung confidence namin, dyan din namin nakawa. Yeah. Asayin ko pala mga naman ang mag-usap tayo, pero lang. Siyempre uh, confident kayo. Uh, and then, then, nagkaroon ng savings at uh, the time. Nakapag- mm. Nakatulong sa amin din yun. Tulong sa savings. Uh, so, wala lang kayong bisyo. Na, no? Kasi makakapag... Maka- Pag-ipon talaga. Kung wala kang gimmick sa sasabihin mo yan. Mm-hmm. Sa... So, kung baga, delayed gratification ka muna. Yun, save. Na. Save muna ng save pa yun. We're talking about okay. delayed gratification. We can talk about that in the next topic. So, uh, we are wrapping up this uh, session on the advantage of uh, call center. Uh, working with a call center. and uh, Being a call center agent. If you really like to have, uh, if you want suggestion on other topics na gusto nyo we can do in a podcast, you just message us to our social media or to mm-hmm. my YouTube. My, uh, just starting on my YouTube. <laughs> but mm-hmm. in the future, we'll... Yeah, work. comment below yung mga topics na gusto nyo. Yeah, uh, if you want to do different topics. Yan. So... Okay. We're finishing this um, podcast for today. Thank you very much for uh, listening to our podcast and watching us. Yeah, thank you. So, I'm signing off. This is Benji and signing off and mm-hmm. Jelly. And signing off, Jelly Polaroan. So, this is The Voice. The Voice of Experience. Yeah. So bye for now. Bye. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. See you again on my next video.